on, on a different topic, not unique to California, but uh, proud that California is home to the largest Native American population in the country. More than one in 10 Native Americans call California home, and California is home to 109 federally recognized tribes who have a nation-to-nation relationship with the United States of America. As a senator from California, I believe that respect for tribal sovereignty is paramount. That's why after your nomination, uh, as part of the homework that I was doing, I carefully considered your record on tribal issues. And for the most part, it seems that you haven't had to deal with too many cases involving the rights of Native peoples or tribes. The cases you've had so far, uh, such as uh, McKinnock versus Jewell, ultimately dealt more with questions of administrative procedure rather than fundamental issues of Native and tribal rights. If you're confirmed, though, I uh, have no doubt that you'll eventually have to weigh in on major questions related to tribal sovereignty, treaty rights, tribal resource preservation, and the federal government's trust responsibility. Now, there's already at least one major case related to Indian law on the Supreme Court's docket for the next term, and it deals with the constitutionality of the Indian Child Welfare Act of 1976. I'm not going to ask you to comment on that case specifically or any case that may come before you, but as a general matter, can you just share what your understanding is of the federal government's legal and moral trust responsibility and relationship with tribal governments? Uh, Yes, Senator. Um, It is established in the law, the Supreme Court has established that um, there is a special trust relationship between uh, Indian tribes and the federal government. Um, Indian tribes are, um, uh, as a general matter, considered to be sovereigns, and the relationship is a sovereign-to-sovereign relationship, but it's one in which uh, the federal government um, is, it has some responsibilities related to um, to the Indian nation. And it's very, very um, important um, care and trust responsibility uh, that the federal government has in terms of um, making sure that the tribes are um, recognized and, and cared for in the context of our system. All right. Look forward to our ongoing conversation on uh, that uh, area of the law as well. Uh, 